Good morning. It's Saturday morning for us. Welcome to day two of Flossmas. Um, I need to get some projects together today for what I'm going to stitch for the month. And then I'll be able to show you some progress too. Um, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing and, you know, comment and like and share and all of that kind of thing. There's a lot of us doing Flossmas this year. Uh, so please put in your search engine or in the YouTube search uh, Flossmas. Uh, Black Needle Society will have links as well for people who are putting in their Flossmas videos. Just be aware, spoilers, if you don't want spoilers, just maybe leave it a day or two behind and um, hopefully people will be saying which day they're up to so you don't get spoiled. If you have the nice list box, if you don't and you want to see what's in these goodies, then keep watching. And when the vault goes live, usually at the beginning of each month, the vault will go live on the first or second of the month. You can use my code PIPPA5, all caps, and you can get a 5% uh, discount as well on anything in the vault. All right, you ready? Day two, day two. These are for Sophie. Now, if you weren't with me yesterday, go back and have a look. Um, Sophie's got an advent box, just like I do. And Sophie's going to get into hers first. Ooh. What is it, Sophie? A unicorn. A unicorn? Yeah. Gosh. I love it. Is that it? Is there anything else in there? No? Nope. Just a unicorn? Yes. Oh, it's got a name. It's called Pixie. 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 <laughs> I don't know where she's going to put all this stuff. But Can anyway. I put this in my bag? Uh, maybe. Maybe you could. Oh, I was pulling out this thinking, oh, it's the red stuff that came in the box. No, it's a ribbon. And, ooh, oh, it's a Storky Scissors. That's cool. Oh, it's like, it's big enough to go on the Christmas tree. But look, 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 it's a little Stork Scissors. Um, they also loop onto your project bags or anything else. So if you want to have a little bag kind of identifier for your Christmas stitching, because it has the red ribbon, it really does look like it might, um, go on the Christmas tree Oops. or be a Christmas thing um now QR code get your book ready uh, as I said yesterday oops I have taped the night the naughty list so I'm not going to see it now I need day two which is very handily ooh, um dated wobbly hands don't do that there we go and I like it we found yesterday, you can actually drop a comment and say how much you like. Ooh, I didn't like that. Hang on. Um, 2nd of December. Uh-oh, Katie, Katie, Katie. It's a 404 error. I don't know if that means it's flooded or what's happened. Anywho. I'll find out more about this tomorrow. I'll show you tomorrow, actually. Um, I'll, and you can have a review. So yesterday we got this gorgeous wallet. And the artist is Ellie. And uh, now I'm going to go blank on that. Um, I'm clicking on the QR code on the brochure. How daft is that? Yes, it's not a device. Let me refresh my memory on Ellie's name. Okay, day one gift, that link works. Ellie Goldwine, or Golden, Gold, Golden. Um, let me see if focusing is going to make it better. Nope. Hokey pokey, day two doesn't work. I'll let them know. Um, yeah, but it's gorgeous. Now, it would have been curated by the Black Needle Society as they do, but it, whether it's designed to hang on your tree or to loop onto your project bag, choice is yours. Do what you want. Um, have you got your Christmas projects all set up and everything else? Mm -hmm. Yes, no. Um, from my point of view, I have something that I would like to stitch for Sophie that I bought. Um, <laughs> she loves that idea. 
So um, I will get that. I actually commissioned it off Etsy and soon. Um, I actually commissioned it off Etsy. It's a Christmas tree with her name written in cursive. Um, so that will be kind of cool. I have to pick the fabric today. I have to pick the colors that I'm going to do or she's going to pick the colors that I'm going to do. I was thinking reds and greens, but she likes pinks and purples. So I might go with her choice. A purple tree will be quite unusual. Um, <laughs> she's already got it on her bag. Um, we put the tree up last night. It's literally just sparkly white lights and baubles. And there is no need for, for tinsel. I am so, so pleased with how it worked out. And I got the baubles. The, the baubles are a mixture of giant, medium and small. And they're all in the kind of gold, silver theme. And there's one odd black one. And um, yeah, it's just looking amazing. And it's only a little tree. Um, it actually said it was four foot high. And when I took it out of the box, it's like, this thing's just a shrimp. It works really, really well in our home. And I'm just tickled pink. And it's actually at the start of the video. So I'm actually showing the lights and the baubles on the tree. <laughs> so you, you even see me if you're looking carefully enough. Um, in the shiny ones so yeah I'm looking at it now and it's like ah it's so cool um so he's, this year is all about Christmas trees I don't know why um I've got lots and lots of Christmas trees I've got the little ones and we've got the lounge ones Sophie's got one in her bedroom on the wall and the stitching is a tree so um yeah yes there's a tree in the inside of the box She's just looking through her advent box. It's such a cool box. If you ever see these body shop advent boxes, I don't know how much they cost with all the product in it, but for durability and everything else and reusability, it's just gorgeous. And if you're into the recycling and repurposing, it's really, really cool. Um, I've been part of a couple of Facebook groups now that do helping people so there's helping people around Hobart which is the city I live in and um there's lots and lots of charity giving and things like that and somebody put a need up saying hey you know husband's just lost a job and you know not celebrating Christmas and it's like yeah I get that you think you can't do Christmas when you don't have gifts because you don't have the Barbies or the Cindy's, whatever the heck the toys are these days that the kids are actually into. I have no idea. Um, I've never really gone with those trending toys um, for any of my kids. Like my adults are the eldest is 30. So it's been a few years in the making. And we've never really gone for those big themes. And we normally go for the small gifts and then the bigger ticket item. But we still weren't spending thousands and thousands of dollars on Christmas presents. I think this year is probably one of the biggest ones that splurged just on the advent box. Um, just getting bits and pieces. It quickly adds up. Um, but it's all about experience. And that was the one thing that I encouraged this mum to do. It's like the handmade gifts. It's about the giving rather than the receiving. It's about the generosity. And I was reminded, not now. You have to wait. Sorry. Um, it's it's about, uh, yeah, I've got a friend who, excuse me. Sorry about that. Um, my, so my friend does these Advent things. She didn't think that she was going to do it again this year. It's an awful lot of effort, but she has actually done her Advent. They've just moved into a new build that they've done in a country rural area. And they built it out of the hay bales and all of that kind of thing. It's just gorgeous. But she started doing it. And I'm so pleased she started doing it. Um, there's something about seeing even other people doing altruistic things that helps you, I guess, just feel a bit better about the world. Um, a friend of mine this morning was saying how um, spiritual needs like people aren't getting met on their spiritual needs actually you need to edit that people are not getting their needs met 
um, people are broken and hungry for love and for somebody to affirm them and for somebody to say, hey, here's my hand. And that's maybe all you can give. Um, so there are lots and lots of Christmas projects out there that would encourage the altruistic giving, um, the giving of time, the giving of, as I suggested to uh, this person, try writing notes, random notes, leave them on steps. We've got a thing here, which I'm sure is worldwide, but there's a Taz Rocks and it's painted rocks and it's basically river pebbles that people paint and they leave them hiding around and they're just cute. Some of the artists are better than others and you never know what you're going to get. They might never tell you that they've put them in certain places. It's just for people to find and go, oh my goodness. And then on the back it says Taz Rocks, please post on the page to say where you found it and you can keep it or you can pass it on to somebody else. And just even things like that to to give to give somebody that bit of a smile for their day um i have a hopper but she's the reluctant one she's getting out of her um, reluctance she will jump on me when i'm on the couch ruby no <laughs> i promise i will have the hoppers in on one of these mornings i've actually fed four of them and put them outside in the pen um but the two i've got in are a little bit more skittish so <laughs> Gonna be fun trying to catch them. Um, one. Oh, she's curled up, but her tail is still out. They usually tuck their tails under, but one of them hasn't. I don't know why. Anyway, um, they will rest after they've got a full belly full of milk, which is why I put the others outside so they can graze and just enjoy the sunshine. Um, and they were getting watched by starlings. The starlings are now gone. I'm worried actually that starlings will creep in some of the open bits and uh, they won't be able to get out. So I have to keep an eye on that too. Anywho, um, but yeah, what can you give? Can you give your time? Can you give kind notes, kind words? Um, I guess that would be my thought for today. Um, I'm actually meeting friends today and tomorrow and trying to just put good steps in for what could be a bumpy Christmas. Um, yeah, let's see how we go. All right, I will let you go. I will talk to you tomorrow uh, when we have more unboxings. And um, yeah, I'll give you the info on day two when we see you then. Bye for now. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand.